Here's something you might be interested in. One of the uh, folk on Twitter were kind enough to point me in the right direction for SNES cart batteries. Now, where is... I need to get a cartridge. I wasn't, I wasn't very prepared for this video, was I? Uh, as you can see here, this is a nice Nintendo game cart with nice shiny battery over there. Now, one of the problems I had previously was uh, clearance between the casing and the battery holder. So we're using one of these battery holders, which as you can see, uh, sort of a lip at the back. So when I picked up these ones on uh, Element 14, actually, they weren't too expensive. And uh, let's just have a look at this one. So it's definitely more low profile. Hold them side by side. There's no giant upward bit. So that'll be much better. I also got them in uh, white, which are discolored and awful. Now, I know I'm not going to be looking inside the cartridge that much, but it matters to me. So I've got five of each, which is more than enough for what I need. And uh, yeah, we'll be popping these onto these cartridges. And they'll fit inside the case perfectly, and then I've just got to worry about the uh, microchips, especially on the ones I'll be earthbounding. Although on the subject of earthbound, I have received the, uh, the PCBs for the flash chip and the flash chips. I've also got two flash chips just there. So I've also got an adapter on order so I can program it using the uh, GQ4X EEPROM programmer. But these are these are quite good. These are done by buyicnow.com, I think it is. As you can see there, that's beautiful. Look at the goodness. So I'll be doing a video very shortly on these. Let me go ahead and try and solder those incredibly fine things. I'm going to use a lot of flux paste. Thanks for watching.